Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Welcome to another New York Habitat London video tour. Today we'll be discovering London's trendy and vibrant East End. The East End of London was once a series of villages outside the City of London. High demand for workers servicing trade and industry around London's docks saw rapid growth during the 19th century and brought along with it considerable development. The East End of London refers to the area east of the City of London. The old city walls along Bishopsgate are the western edge, the River Thames is the southern border, and the River Leah the eastern boundary. The northern edge of the East End remains unclear, but we will consider the Regent's Canal as the northern boundary. This is Shoreditch. Once a predominantly working-class area, it is now popular and thriving. With records dating back several hundred years, Shakespearean plays were performed in this neighborhood before moving to the Globe in Suffolk. This is the area known as Hoxton. Along with Shoreditch, it was to become an alternative to the West End in the 18th and 19th centuries with numerous theaters and music halls. Today, Hoxton is synonymous with loft conversions and is popular for its art, fashion and entertainment. Why not take a look at some of New York Habitat's East End apartment rentals? From loft-style apartments to modern developments, visit nyhabitat.com to discover your next London apartment rental. The area known as Spitalfields was once a byword for urban deprivation. With direct association with Jack the Ripper, Spitalfields in the 19th century was not the place to be but all that has changed today. The old Spitalfields Market dates back to 1638. The original market moved in 1991, but in its place is a top London market offering fashion and vintage clothing, as well as food and arts and crafts. The East End has seen immigrants from across the globe, and Brick Lane is the heart of Bengali Anglo-Indian cuisine. So if you like curry, then you've come to the right place. Fashion is synonymous with the East End. From street art and graffiti around Brick Lane to the modern galleries in Hoxton, there is plenty to see.
cry from the working class docks of the 1800s, St. Catherine's Dock, once managed by the Port of London Authority, is now a modern marina. Surrounded by offices, residential housing and restaurants, the dock is now a haven of tranquility located next to Tower Bridge and the Tower of London. The East End continues to develop. The East End of the 21st century is a far cry from its 18th and 19th century past. From an area synonymous with overcrowding and criminality, it has now become a respectable and desired location for both residential and commercial housing. Well, we've reached the end of our video tour of London's East End. This is a fantastically diverse area with many hotspots we weren't able to get in. If you know of any fun places, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you're coming to London, be sure to visit our website at nyhabitat.com and book a vacation rental or furnished apartment with New York Habitat. You'll find furnished apartments all over London. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Thank you for watching our video tour and we hope to see you soon in London.